सर एनी प्रोडक्ट्स दैट यू कैन नेम विच आर गोइंग टू बी इंडक्टेड इन नियर फ्यूचर सर नियर फ्यूचर आई वुड से एल सी ए मार्क वन ए मोर नंबर ऑफ स्क्वाड्रन आर गोइंग टू बी टेकन फॉर आकाश सेवरल ऑफ आर टैक्टिकल मिसाइल्स आर गोइंग टू गेट इंडक्टेड नाउ वी हैव रोल्ड आउट द लाइट टैंक वी आर नाउ डूइंग इंटरनल ट्रायल्स we have also now receiving interest for brahmos of course we have exported to philippines and we are receiving interest for other countries the ground systems should be sent very soon in the next 10 days the missiles hopefully will go by march approximately 4 lakh 94000 crores worth of drdo developed products have either got inducted or have received aon from the dac and sir uh, like uh, if we talk about this 5 lakh crore uh, products how how many would have been uh, what would be the worth of products uh, which are going to be inducted in near future sir so as you are aware the developments as you mentioned are now increasingly getting done much faster than earlier so my estimate is more than 60% or 70% of the inducted products are in the last 5 7 years and this rate is going to increase dramatically as we go ahead okay and uh, sir any products that you can name which are going to be inducted in near future sir near future i would say lca mark 1a then arjun mark 1a then i would say qr sam akash more uh, number of uh, squadrons are going to be taken for akash then i would say several of our uh, tactical missiles are going to get inducted soon and this list includes the adags and vishorats attacks definitely there is a order which is going to be placed soon on attacks we sure ads may take about 2 to 3 years 2 years we are still awaiting user trials which are likely to start in july and after we clear uh, the user trials uh, we will get a order and sir uh, we get a uh, lot of times the uh, the defense enthusiasts ask us what timeline are you looking for the induction or the clearance for a final clearance for uh, the attacks project so attacks has already finished all uh, trials the order is my estimate is the order should be placed in this financial year uh, that is before 31st of before March. 31st uh, for 307 guns 307 guns yes, yes. Uh, uh, that's a, that would be a big success for the yeah uh the the thank you stable sir uh, sir uh, can you tell us how much uh, support drdo has been giving to the defense industry uh, and uh, how many uh, private firms have come up uh, uh, because of support of uh, the drdo in development of its products under the dcpp and other rules so drdo has always been supporting uh, industry if you see most of our during our development phase we work with msmes we work with smaller industries and now for the last 7 8 years when we have started this dcpp concept we are even working with them as system integrators right from the design and development stage and to tell you now for us private sector and public sector are equally would i would say we don't we don't decide on our partner whether it is a psu or a private sector they have equal chances of getting selected as dcpp we have a set procedure for dcpp and whoever is selected based on that procedure it doesn't matter whether it is a private sector or a public sector we also have now started a scheme called technology development fund which we can use to support industry and this is mostly for private sector we don't fund psus in this scheme and we give funding up to 50 crores 
if a private sector wants to do any development on their own. And uh, sir, like uh, you said, the private sector has equal chance. Any uh, products uh, that have been developed recently in partnership with the uh, private, sec private sector? Uh, so, ATAGS is one where our partners are Bharat Forge and Tata Advanced Systems. Then I would say in our uh, UAV, UL, UAV launched PGMs, we have Adani as our partner, LNT is our partner in the light tank. So we are working with all the large uh, private sector integrators in the country for our uh, any of the systems that we develop. And uh, light tank, <coughs> light tank ready for user trials by when, sir? So light tank, now we have rolled out the light tank. We are now doing internal trials. Once the internal trials are completed by June, then we will offer it to the services for their user evaluation. User evaluation. Sir, uh, Prime Minister Modi uh, has been focusing a lot of, uh, giving a lot of stress on uh, increasing exports. Uh, can you tell us, sir, what are the DRDO project products which have been exported in last uh, few years? And if, uh, if you can also give the work. Yeah, so, exports are now really, we are getting a lot of interest for most of our products from abroad. And I'm sure over the coming years, exports are going to become a very important part of our portfolio. So, so far, a lot of our hull-mounted sonars, lightweight torpedo, we have exported radars. We have now a lot of interest on Pinaka, ATAGS. Then we have also now receiving interest for Brahmos, of course, we have exported to Philippines and we are receiving interest for other countries. Akash is seeing a lot of interest. So going forward, a lot of our products will get export orders. Uh, looking at the list of products which have been exported, it seems uh, almost all of them are uh, DRDO developed, sir? Yes, because if you look at most of the products which are indigenously designed and developed have happened because of DRDO. Going ahead, we expect the private sector and public sector companies also to develop products which will find Like attack has, uh, uh, achieved success in it. Yes. And uh, sir, uh, we, uh, now uh, you were talking about Brahmos. Uh, can you tell us uh, by when we can uh, we are starting the exports to Philippines, sir? Uh, the ground systems should be sent very soon in the next ten days. The missiles hopefully will go by March uh, to Philippines. To Philippines. And sir, uh, this year the French president is uh, here for the Republic Day parade as the chief guest. Uh, how is our uh, defense cooperation with them? And uh, uh, we were developing an engine for the AMCA with them, sir. Uh, there were plans. So, uh, if you can tell us about that, sir. So, we have been in discussions with Saffron for developing the engine for AMCA. But these are still under discussions. The final decision on whom to go with or whom to partner with for making the AMCA engine has not yet been done. So right now, I would say this is under discussion.